Dino Nlovo is reportedly one of the highest paid South African footballers in the world after deciding to apply his trade abroad and forge a career out of his comfort zone. Now the Zhejiang Greentown striker in China League One is urging other local players to follow in his footsteps and expand their horizons. CGT and CS Duplessis has more. 2020 has been an incredibly tough year for everyone. You've been literally in the epicenter of where they first detected COVID. How difficult was it being a player based overseas uh, with everything that was going on? 40% of our, my team is that for Mohan. I could, you know, feel and see the outrage, the, the, the pain they have in their eyes when, you know, we were in Thailand or in Turkey talking about being away from their families. For those past two months, when we held up uh, our preseason for the upcoming uh, last season. How have you been welcomed in China? I mean, you've been there a while now and, and you've, you've been their leading goal scorer for some time. You've come agonizingly close to promotion to the Super League. But how have you as, as a foreign national, I know there's another Zimbabwean player and a Brazilian in, in, this, in the squad too, but what, what's it been like? For me, I think the first year, it, it was one of the years that I thought, you know, going to China, I don't know much about the country, I don't, know, I don't know much about the culture, the league. I thought it was going to be a, 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 a walk in the park. But you find that when you get to that country, you see that how ignorant we are as a football world, whether it's Europe, whether it's Africa, we always think that in Asia there's no football. But you tend to see that there's a lot of talent. But as I think for me personally, the welcome has been tremendous, you know. I've, they've welcomed me in, you know, in warm hands and uh, they've you know, treated me as one of their own. Could you see more South Africans and, and, and fellow African players ending up in China? I know the Super League is, is very attractive financially. The, the league you're currently in is just one tier below. Mm -hmm. Could you see more African and South African players heading that way? Slowly but surely, I'll open, the doors will be open for more and more South African players to you know, leave their comfort zone and you know, go challenge themselves. Not only the talent, but also themselves, their character and, and, and their personality in the Chinese Football League. Let's take it back to, to where it started. I mean, you've sacrificed so much to get to where you are today. Those days when you were sleeping at a train station, away from home, uh, worried about your mother in Clarksville, Tell us, tell us about that. I didn't care that where if I sleep in the train station, people will come and I'll get mugged or something will happen to me, any negative. I had a vision and a dream to become a football star. And you know, God, by God's grace, as I said before, by God's, God, God's grace, he protected me until I finished the marathon, the, marath the marathon at that particular time when I was going to trials at Platinum Stars. And I was chosen to be one of their players in that year. Where would you be without football? Do you, do, you, uh, is, do you shudder or do you have a, another plan or was football always the plan? For me, football has always been the plan. I remember also when we were in grade 11, we had um, uh, an essay, but we had an like, oral presentation to present to your classmates or to say, what do you want to do after, you know, when you finish my trick? And I didn't know what to say, but the only thing that I said to my, my teacher at that particular time and my classmate was like, I want to be a football player. What does the future hold for you? I mean, 30 years old now, uh, you've recently signed a new deal. Um, hopefully you want to finish at the Super League. Is there a chance we might see Dino and Glovo in his twilight finishing here on South African soil? European football is competitive. If my body doesn't, it cannot carry me anymore to really do what I do best that side. Why not? I'll come back home. Whether it's next year, whether it's two years from now, you know, what's controlling me is my body. My body is the only cell that can, you know, really determine when it will be the best time for me to come back to South Africa.